Alright, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. I just spent about 35 minutes or so doing some grinding, and I'll show you guys a little bit of what happened here. So Yuna originally was right here where this magic sphere is, <clears throat> and I brought her all the way over here to this HP, which I actually... Yeah, okay, so that is the right direction because I think Kira is right here. Yes! Okay, so we are going the right way. What's over here? Strength. Um... It's right there. Reflect. Yes, yeah, so this is the right way. Dispel. Pilfer Gill, which is a really stupid ability. Um, yeah, so she is going the right way. Um, I'm getting pretty close to having Lulu near uh, her level 2 spells. The problem is I'm really low on ability spears. Actually, I'm out now. So there's not really much of a point for grinding for them. Um, at the moment when I'll probably just get them on the way to the travel agency. Waka, we made him over to his sleep attack. He was originally, like, route around here somewhere, I think. Or he might have actually been... I'm not actually 100% sure, but he has sleep attack now. He, uh, he might have been, I think, right here. Uh, Titus was right here, and we brought him over here to this magic sphere. Got a couple strength upgrades, so he'll be a little bit more powerful. Kamari, I'm waiting on a level 1 key sphere. Then he's going to become my thief. Um, Oren, we didn't get him too far. He started over here, and we just got him some extra HP upgrades uh, along the way. And we won't get another strength upgrade for a little bit, but we might get that in today's episode. I don't know. So anyway, that's basically all of the progress that I made. I could have done a little bit more, and I was going to, but I opted to just go ahead and try to continue on with the main story here, um, just because I would rather record. So this is a good opportunity for me to show you guys some of the changes that happened, and uh, just how, st how much stronger even a little bit of grinding um, ended up making us. So we attack him. Uh, that actually wasn't too much of an upgrade. Neither was that. <laughs> This might be actually a pretty considerable upgrade, though. Nope, never mind. <laughs> That's okay, though. We did need to make that progress on the sphere grid, and I'm pretty happy having done that. Now we just need more ability spheres. If we can get those, then we'll be in a pretty good spot. And I'm not really going to worry too much about trying to, like, min-max and get everybody um, the levels that they need. I'm just going to try to kind of get through this as much as I can here. Not sure if I'll be able to kill this guy, though. This guy's kind of a strange one. So you hit him three times, and he gets to maximum size. Uh, I believe that on his fourth hit, it might be his third hit, but I know for a fact that like by the time you get to, I think, four hits, um, he becomes basically... Uh, Self-destruct after three times. Um, he will explode on you. Freeze! This might kill him. It did. The level two spells that we get with the, um, Lulu are going to make a huge difference. So that'll that'll make a. Do you know what those ruins are from? Some old city. Be a great deal of help. Correct. A city most ancient. A terrible testament to sin's power. I tremble every time I see them. Compared to sin, humans are mere mud puppies. But I believe humans are the only ones capable of defeating sin. A good reply. I am relieved to hear you say that, Milady Summoner. Oh? Where are my manners? I am matron, a scholar, at your service, Milady. This guy's a badass. I am on a journey. Studying the history of our world, Spira, seeking its stories and secrets. My travels have taken me to many places, and I am troubled by what I have seen. Fragile smiles on people's faces, crumbling at the mere mention of sin. They are counting on you, milady. Give them a reason to rejoice once more. I will. And just like that, we'll move on. The good news is, uh, Meehan High Road really isn't too much longer 
um, once we get past this point here. Uh, although there is some more after we get to the travel agency, which is kind of like the halfway point. Let's see if we get lucky here with Awaka's overdrive. Hey, there we go. I don't know if this is going to kill him or not. No, but it did a pretty good amount of damage. This will kill her, though. Her? I don't know. It? Whatever. It's a floating ball in the sky. It doesn't have a gender. <laughs> At least I don't think it does, anyway. But as you can see, uh, without that grinding trick, the AP doesn't come in um, nearly as quickly. Lady Summoner, I presume. Yes, I am Yuna. I am Lucille, captain of the Jose Chocobo Knights. And I'm Alma. We've been charged to guard the high road. There have been reports of a large fiend appearing in this area with a taste for chocobos. Do take care, Summon Yuna, if you are to rent any chocobos. Thank you. We will be careful. Good. We should get back to our rounds. Farewell. Our prayers are with you. A large fiend? Hmm. Let's go get him! Why? It's the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do. <laughs> What'd I say now? Jet said that a lot, too. <laughs> and every time he said it, it meant trouble for Braska and me. <laughs> and over here is a nice little bonus boss fight that we're gonna do. This is a very cool boss fight, by the way. Ah, a summoner party. Uh, you too are a summoner? My name is Belgamine. You are? My name is Yuna. Ah, the High Summoner's daughter. I've heard much of you. But you are still fresh on the road, are you not? Yes, I am. I might have a few things to teach you. Hmm? Let us see which are stronger. My Aeons or yours. A one-on-one -on -one match. Not to the death, of course. What do you say? Yes, we will fight. I'll do my best. Good. Before we begin... Your Aeons have been healed. You can fight with your full strength. Come. This is a pretty cool boss fight. I like being able to fight the other Aeons, and in this version of the game, we actually get the ability to fight the uh, Dark Aeons. So, Belgamine uh, used to be like Show me how one of the cooler boss fights, just because you did get to fight her Aeons. But now that we're in the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, we're in the uh, whatever it's called, complete edition of this game, I guess, so to speak. Uh, it has all those extra boss fights that never made their way over to America, which is pretty cool. Now, I don't know if we really care to try to overkill this guy or not, but we're just gonna hope that we don't die. If we win this, we get a pretty good piece of equipment, which is the main thing I care about anyway. And Aeon's attributes rise with those of its summoner, thus if Ifrit... The Ifrit one summoner calls may be very different from one called by another summoner. Because this Ifrit's strength and HP are both high, it will win in a straight fight. Try boosting uh, with, yeah, yeah, whatever. So we're gonna go ahead and try boosting. Pretty close. I'm just gonna try to attack and see what happens. Perfect. And with Energy Blast, we might be able to win this like right away with no issues.
Yep. <laughs> Ended up being pretty easy. Stop. That is enough. All right, and we did not get any not items bad for immediately. Not so young. I underestimated you. Take this. You've earned it. Echo ring. You show promise. With more training, you could defeat Sin. Thank you. But I think you might defeat Sin before I am able to. I cannot. Huh? Or should I say, I was not able to? You mean... Farewell, Yuna. We'll meet again. A hunter sphere. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. Let's see what that's like here. Oh, that's really good, actually. I don't know why I didn't have that equipped earlier. And just like that, we are... Mm, I would call it like a third of the way through me and High Road, just about. Ah, this is a good fight for us. I can show you uh, Tidus as well. Like I said, not enough changes have been made to really affect things too drastically here. Um, we really needed to get further along uh, everyone's skill trees in order to get like a really noticeable difference, but it's um, it's not such a bad situation. We will eventually get those level 2 spells. And uh, let me go ahead and show you this. I'll go ahead and use Tidus' overdrive as well. Too late to beg for mercy! Well, there's an overkill. <laughs> and we got one for Waka. Not too bad, not too bad. The good news is the random encounter rate here is actually pretty low, so we're gonna get through this area seriously pretty reasonably quickly. I would say that we'll have this whole area done within a couple episodes, and then we'll be able to move on to Hey, kind of I'm a guardian one of the now, first so watch bigger, out. like one of the biggest bosses uh, up to this point, which is pretty exciting. Oh, yeah. oh, we got an overkill there. Now let's use a dark attack Stay on this down. guy because I think he's weak to it. Sure enough, and we'll even use a power break on him. No why not? Cool. Um, let's try to get everybody else involved in here because why not? So, how shall we do this? What is he weak to? Not weak to anything. Okay. Um. Let's bring Kamari in here since he's got that that spear. Now I am sad that we don't have that level one key spear yet, so we really just haven't been able to do much. Yuna here. Let's. We don't need to summon, but we could probably just do a cure. Well. Yeah, we do a cure on Lulu Aid just to us. have something productive be done. All right, let's, um, actually, we'll use another fire on him. And we'll bring Orin back in here as well and as just do another wish. attack. No, come on. There we go. Miss me? Fighting in this game is pretty fun. I, I, I do enjoy the combat quite a lot. I uh, wish I had a little bit more to say right now, but these random enemies are a little bit on the boring side. When it comes to boss fights, um, I'm a lot more like actively involved in the commentary just because like it's a lot easier to make commentary out of boss fights. Actually, you know what? Yeah, hey, we're about summoner. a third of the way through. You're a summoner? Yes, my name is Yuna. I'm Callie. Nice to meet you, Callie. Lady Yuna, are you going to bring us the call? Yes, <laughs> very soon. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> We're looking forward to another call, my lady summoner. I'll do my best. And good luck to your guardians as well.
what's the calm? The calm is a time of peace. It comes after a summoner defeats Sin, and lasts until Sin reappears. Uh... Huh? Sin dies and is reborn. I get it! I thought it was weird. Yuna's dad defeated Sin ten years ago, right? But Sin's still here. Didn't make much sense till now. Wait, if it just comes back... Don't say it isn't worth it. Because it is. Even for a little while, people can sleep in their beds without being afraid. That kind of time is worth anything. Don't say it isn't worth it. Your words that day, Yuna, I remember them well. <laughs> this move, yeah, this music is kind of a goofy here. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy X. And next time, we will continue on with the Meehan High Road. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys next time.